If, like many people, you often hit space twice, then there's a really simple way of getting rid of those double spaces, really quick and simple way, using a macro button. And although you might not particularly be guilty of hitting space two times, this process of creating a macro button to correct a regularly made formatting error uh, is a technique that can be applied in a variety of different ways. So I hope this will be useful to you. Um, first of all, let's get some dummy text up here so that we can play with it. And there's a simple way of doing that. We simply type equals rand 3 comma 3. And that gives us three paragraphs of three sentences each random text to play with. OK, what I'm going to do now is just to hit space a couple of times to add in some double spaces. <clears throat> just like that. Um, and now we need to create a macro. To do that, you go up to the Developer tab, which you may not have. So, not to worry, if you don't have the Developer tab, simply click on the Office icon at the top left, go down to Word Options, and then in the Popular section, you'll see this link here, uh, Show Developer tab in the ribbon. So, obviously, tick that, and then click OK and the Developer tab should pop up. The next thing to do then is to click Record Macro, and we can give it a name. It's a good idea to name your macros, because if you end up with quite a few macros, uh, it can be difficult organizing them later on and working out which one does what. So we're going to type in double space, and you then have this option of either assigning the macro to a button or a keyboard. If it's a button, then you end up with another button that you can add to the uh, quick access toolbar at the top left here. If it's a keyboard um, option, then it's a keyboard shortcut that you're creating. You can choose your own keyboard shortcut. I'm going to choose button, so we click button, and this is where we create the button. Here you see we've got our new macro. Um, double space, there it is. So select that and add it to your quick access toolbar. You see this list of buttons here is what we have along the top left up there. Uh, yours will look different to mine almost certainly because I've created a number of macros and options already uh, which I've um, popped down there in a list. So there's our new button. Uh, we're going to change the way that this looks. We're going to click modify and choose a better icon than this one. I'm going to choose this tick here and then we can also change the display name. Uh, this is the um, tooltip text which will appear if you hover the mouse over the icon. So let's just type in here get rid of double spaces. Okay, that's that done. So let's now click OK. And you can see that we are now recording the macro. You can tell this uh, because the mouse pointer now has that rather outdated cassette recorder, cassette tape uh, there. Uh, many younger people may not have a clue what that's supposed to be, but there we go. Um, but it's recording everything we do, not how long it takes us to do it, and not what we do with the mouse. Uh, it's simply the order in which we type or press keyboard shortcuts or click buttons. So the first thing to do is to go to the beginning of whatever document it is we're working with. Best way of doing that is simply press Control Home. And there you see the text point is now at the beginning of the document. And then the next thing is to bring up the Find and Replace window and we can do that with the keyboard shortcut Control H. So what is it we are trying to find? Well, we're trying to find all the double spaces. So let's type a double space in there. And what are we replacing those with? Well, a single space. So we've got two spaces up here and one down there. When we've done that, click on Replace All. And it's correctly replaced all nine of the spaces we put in earlier. Click OK and close and that's done. One thing to remember to do at this point though is to click the Stop Recording button. 
uh, you'd be amazed how many times it's possible to forget to click stop recording and carry on creating your document uh, creating an enormous macro so click stop recording and there we are that's done you'll see now at the top here in the quick access toolbar we have this extra uh, button and you can see the tooltip appears when I hover the mouse over it so let's test this new button let's put in some extra spaces and a few down here as well that's it and then click our button and bang all the double spaces have gone if you're particularly guilty and you end up putting triple spaces in or even worse let's put loads of extra spaces in there I don't know why you would but uh, I have seen it in documents then of course all you need to do is to click that once twice three times or however many times you're guilty keep clicking it um, until eventually you are left with single spaces only so there we are that's how to get rid of the double spaces how to bring up the developer toolbar um, and how to create your own macro button hope that was useful if you've got any questions or comments please leave them below otherwise thanks very much